Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Queen Sugar. Today I have a pick up out reading that looks into some general love updates for you all, regardless of your relationship status. This is for everyone, single or not single. So we're going to look into what messages, updates the universe, your guides have for you at this time. We're going to use um, my two oracle decks, my Black Hollywood Romance Stars oracle deck, and then my Melanin and Romance deck. And then at the end of each reading i will get some tarot cards from the modern love tarot deck as well so take a moment to just relax your mind so make sure that you're in a space so you're able to kind of just take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out and allow yourself to release any worries or thoughts that may come to mind at this time when it comes to your love life and just be open to receive the messages that are in the pile or piles that you select so take another deep breath in and take another deep breath out and allow the energy of your guides lead you to the door or doors that best represent the messages for you at this time in regards to your love life. Our first door is the blue door, our second door is the green door, and our third door is the glass door. Once you've selected your pile, feel free to click the timestamp below to watch your portion of the video. As always, I appreciate the love and the support, and I'm excited to share these messages with you all. Please enjoy and thank you so much for tuning in and supporting the channel. This will be for those that selected the blue door. So let's get into your general love update reading. So we're going to get into the oracle cards first and then at the end I will get some tarot cards as well. Alright, so let's start with my Melanin and Romance oracle deck and then we'll get into my Black Hollywood Romance Stars deck. So we have reoccurring thoughts. Dominance, soulmate love, tongue master, and then seduction. All right, so it definitely seems like there is a strong push and desire for intimacy within your love life at this time. And it doesn't mean like it's just limited to someone that you know. It could just be this pull, this desire to be intimate, craving intimacy, wanting to connect with someone on a physical, but also an emotional and spiritual level. I get with the reoccurring thoughts um, here and dominance. I'm definitely getting the vibe that a lot of you, one, are having visions of like your partner or your future partner you may have like dreams where you're feeling this connection with someone there's like this mystery man or woman in your dream but it's all tailored to a romantic connection but you can't really put your finger on exactly who it is or what it is about at that exact moment but it's like building up to this plot where you're going to see you're going to have like this grand reveal of like who this person is i'm also getting that your person whether you know them or not, they're thinking about a relationship, like they're thinking about love and all of that as well. So it's kind of like you two are mirroring each other. With the soulmate being directly in the middle, I feel that this person is definitely a, a soulmate of yours, um, whether it be a divine counterpart, twin flame, however you want to label it, they are a soulmate. There seems to be, you know, both of you are like mirroring each other, especially sexually you might start feeling excited aroused randomly they might feel it as well but you mirror each other's energy so when you randomly feel this way that's what your person is feeling as well i'm definitely getting with this tongue master like obviously with a sexual vibe but also there's this energy behind it where they're ready to give this person is ready to give to you they're ready to 
kind of like dive into your love. They're ready to dive into love is what I'm getting. I get that you are in that space too where you're like, I'm ready for commitment. I'm ready for relationship. And at times you might get, you know, seduced by other suitors that want to date you, that are interested in dating you, but you're like, no, I don't think this person is for me. I don't want to waste my time. I want to wait for, you know, my, my real soulmate, my person. I don't want to give myself to just anyone. I want to give myself to this person this soulmate of mine and you're trying to you know avoid the seduction as much as possible and that person that you're um you're manifesting they're doing the same like they're not letting temptation kind of get in the way of manifesting you as well so now let's get into our other oracle deck so we have life partner this person is someone that you can enjoy life with wholeheartedly you two can get through anything together so this is confirming the idea that you two are manifesting a lifetime of commitment, a long term of commitment with one another. And that is why both of you are kind of like trying to avoid manifesting, you know, flings and temporary connections like you want a long term connection. And that's why you're kind of like, you know, putting the temporary things to the side. Next, we have telepath or telepathy. Uh, pay attention to the telepathic messages that are being sent and received at this time. So like I said with the recurring thoughts, we're actually going to move these over. Okay, so both of you are probably sending each other messages. It doesn't matter if you know them or not. Like you can still send messages to your, your future spouse. You can send messages to the person that you know. It's all about energy. So when you're feeling at peace, when you're praying, you know, I, I pray that my future husband or my future wife is healthy and they're okay they feel that love they feel that energy and then they send it back to you and you feel the energy so both of you are kind of like in this space where the telepathic messages are very strong you might be seeing numbers like angelic numbers all the time you could also be um receiving messages through songs that maybe they come on often or there's a certain line that matches what you've said before or have thought about and that's like a message from that person next we have gifts and offerings your love is appreciated expect a thoughtful gift or loving message from someone soon so this can also once again be a telepathic message or actually in the physical so if you do know your person they could be wanting to like court you date you ask you out on a date um, make a move that lets you know that they're headed into the direction of committing there's also this energy that someone is going to, like I said, some of you have like multiple suitors coming in. You're going to have multiple people trying to like court you, but you have to decide which person is worth giving that chance for, right? That chance um, in the long run. And it could be none of them. It could be none of them. And then your soulmate comes in when you say no to all of them, or it could be one of them but you have to kind of just like explore your options and see how your energy feels when you're talking to these people when you're around them does it feel good does it feel bad like figure that out we have forgive and heal as you forgive and heal your love life becomes brighter and healthier so definitely making sure that you are in a space where you have forgiven um others from the past you've forgiven yourself and know that you can't let the recurring thoughts of the past take over your future and your present. It's important to let those things go and just move forward. And think about it. If it is someone that you're manifesting that has done something in the past that wasn't the greatest, you have to decide if you're going to let that go and move forward with them. Because if you hold on to it and you still want to manifest them, it's just going to cause more bumps in the road. So I feel like it's important to make sure that you have healed enough so you're able to kind of attract this love and it be a healthy relationship. It's not like a recycle of repeating, um, you know, toxicity or fear and doubt. We have love language learning and understanding each other's love languages are essential to meet each other's emotional needs. So this is something to think about, too, when it comes to manifesting this person. What are your love languages? What are their love languages? And the reason why it's important to know that is because everyone needs something different. You know, just because your love language might be, just because both of you share the same love language doesn't mean that you have to do the exact same thing for each other. Like 
quality time can mean something completely different for you compared to your partner. Like you might want quality time actually being in the house together, spending like movie nights together, eating dinner at home, and they might actually want to go out and spend time with you. So kind of getting that, that clarity is important here. And then next we have ready for love. You've been understandably guarded, scared of being hurt again, but you took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. So going back to the forgive and heal card, it is essential that you forgive and you heal because then it allows you to be ready for love fully and ready to embrace it and not be so guarded and fearful when it comes in. So I think that that could be something that some of you are still working on at this time and others have already, you know, done a lot of the healing in the the forgiveness and they're ready for love and it's like your your guides are letting you know that love is entering your life your soulmate is entering all right now let's get some tarot cards to see what else we get gonna move these guys up some Ace of Swords and the Five of Wands. I feel like this wanted to come out in reverse, but I'll take it up as upright. So I feel with the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Swords and the Five of Wands, there may have been a time where you have been, you know, arguing or in some type of like um, conflict with the person. And if you're not seeing anyone at this time, there may have just been this inner conflict with yourself when it comes to like, am I ready for love? Am I you know, ready to fully heal and forgive that battle. And now there's like this moment of clarity where you're able to see that, hmm, if I really want love, if I really want this life partner manifest my soulmate, I have to one, be clear about what my love languages are. I have to be clear, you know, what things I struggle with when it comes to relationships and what ways can I grow and what ways can I heal and not carry so much baggage into the next relationship. Because if you notice in this in this card, there's a car full of luggage. There's a car full of all of these like suitcases. And to the point where it might not, there might not be room for this additional one. And so figuring out what things do I have to carry with me? What things do I carry with me? What things can I actually address and unpack that way when I get into my next relationship? I'm not carrying all of this baggage and all of this turmoil and bringing that onto the person that I'm I'm with. Because when you bring your baggage into a relationship, you add that baggage to that person's baggage and it just becomes a lot to deal with. And it just becomes problematic. So it's important to kind of address the baggage and make sure that you're clear about one, what you want in your relationships, but also what ways can you be better? What ways did you not show for yourself or for your partner in the past? And sometimes, you know, we'll look at ourselves and we're like, oh, I was, you know, I did, I did nothing wrong. I was very loving. I was very giving, you know, X, Y, and Z. But think about that when you're too giving, how are you not showing up for yourself? Because maybe if you were too giving, you weren't giving enough back to yourself and that caused issues, right? So figuring out in what ways can you be better for yourself and be better in your next relationship figuring out what lessons did you learn from your previous relationships and how that can apply to your next one which will you do differently next time you know let's see what else we get the cups see love is coming in for a lot of you so some of you have been just wondering like when is am i gonna you know when is my time coming when will i manifest love and they're letting you know that it is definitely coming towards you but it's also about pouring into yourself making sure that you have healed enough making sure that you're ready to be in a relationship because you can want it so badly but if you're not in a place where you're able to handle a relationship and you haven't fully done a lot of work to heal and to grow that relationship can become something that's temporary and then it just causes more pain for you or you get into something that doesn't help you at all. So it's important to make sure that you're making yourself a priority right now and you're reevaluating, you know, what is important 
for your next relationship? Where are the areas of growth that you need to work on at this time? Also, what traits of a partner are important to you and matter to you the most that match your love languages? If you want somebody that spends quality time with you, maybe you want a partner that is considerate and, you know, that doesn't work a lot. Like figuring out what traits and qualities and characteristics of your partner do you want to manifest that way it matches the love languages that you want um, someone to pay attention to and the type of relationship that you want to be in overall because at the end of the day you you can manifest the person you know easily but it's like sometimes we focus too much on a particular person that we forget to pay attention to the traits of the person that matter the most that's why I say it's okay to not be with your twin flame it's okay to not be with your divine counterpart um, you want to be with the best version of someone that matches the best version of yourself right because we want different things at different points of our life so there might have been a point in time where you and your twin were perfect for each other and it was destined for you to be together and there's a time where you grow up and you learn and you realize hmm my twin doesn't match my energy anymore or they're not on the same level as me anymore so maybe I don't want them as much as I did before maybe I want someone that's um you know vibrating at a frequency that matches me or even higher so kind of like taking that moment to reflect on that and then you'll be able to kind of see what it is that you want to, you know, attract in your life. OK, so this is what I have for a general love update, just like messages from, you know, spirit and, um, you know, the romance angels and everything. But I, I definitely see that a soulmate energy is calling into you. And, they're, and you're calling them in as well. And so the key to manifest this life partner is to make sure that you have forgiven and healed yourself and anybody else and pour into your cup. Figure out what baggage you can let go of. And once you do that, you can decide what matters the most in your relationship and with your partner and then watch them come in, watch them, you know, show up in your life. And you literally have a beautiful, healthy loving relationship okay so i hope this was helpful for those that selected this pile thank you so much for choosing this video i wish you all the best of luck love and light Alrighty, this will be for those that selected the green door so let's get your general love messages at this time so we're going to start off with the oracle decks that i have and then we'll get some tarot cards at the end so let's start off with my melanin and romance oracle deck so we have confusion, passion, memory, divine timing, and then engagement. Okay. So the moment I got the confusion card, I heard spirit just say like some of you are confused because you know, you've listened to readings before or someone told you in the past that something was meant to work out at a certain time and you're not seeing that right now. So you're kind of confused on like what is happening, what's going on. You know, I'm getting that it makes sense why you are confused, but you shouldn't feel bad or you shouldn't feel upset about anything because it's still um, there's this energy that's saying just because you don't see it right now doesn't mean it's not happening or it will happen. Um, something for some of you, some of it has been delayed. And for some of you, it's just like a there's a reason why you were told what you were told, because now you're going to see something way better and it will make sense when you get it is what I'm what I'm getting for that like first part of the reading. I'm also saying that some of you are kind of like reflecting on the past. You are in this like period of nostalgia. A lot of reminiscing here. I'm getting that you and um, an ex, you're thinking about the past, like what happened in the previous relationship, you know, how things were great, how things were terrible. I'm getting that some of you had like really great, you know, intimacy with this person, great sex life with them, but it just did it just didn't work out in terms of the emotional department and it wasn't a healthy relationship. So there's kind of like this this um, past life 
not past life, this like past memories energy that a lot of you are feeling right now. I'm getting some of you are missing someone very strongly and they are missing you. So you could be um, having dreams of them or you'll see little things that remind you of them and they'll see little things that remind you of um, they'll remind them of you is what I'm getting as well. I do see for like a very small portion of you, some of you are getting closer to an engagement. You've been waiting on it for a while and it's finally coming in soon. Like I'm hearing them say like summertime. Some of you are getting engaged in the summertime. I get that like maybe two people are actually going to get married this year that have picked this pile and honestly it's just all about how things work out for you from now until um the point of your engagement and you getting married and you can literally just like I i'm getting it's going to be more so of a um what do you call it um you know like when you go to las vegas and you get married elope that's what it's called you love some of you're going to be eloping this year and some of you might have like a nice small ceremony but I get that the people that are going to get married this year is going to be like an elope type of situation I get that somebody's crown chakra is blocked right now so definitely do some meditations to kind of clear that energy to balance it and it could just be that there are messages trying to be sent to you but you're not receiving them all because it is a blockage so make sure that you are getting your mind right you're meditating as needed and not overwhelming yourself with like social media and other people's energies because that can definitely drain your your energy and also cause blockages all right so let's get into the black hollywood romance stars deck look look at that very soon be clear about what you want because within a blink of an eye it will be yours this is once again kind of like that confirmation about divine timing in this engagement somebody is getting engaged like i said something was delayed and you kind of like are confused about it but it seems like it is still coming in it's happening very soon so those that feel like you know I can just feel this energy that I'm going to get it proposed to or I'm getting married soon or I'm going to have kids soon. You're not feeling it for nothing. You're feeling it for a reason. And so that's like your preparation to get ready for it because it's coming in very, very soon. Next we have, look, building the future. This one is a keeper. Your love life is ascending to the next level. Right under engagement. I'm going to put that there. Look, the people that picked this pile, even if you don't necessarily get engaged or married this year, it's coming up within like the next two years because the energy is very strong and it's like like I said a lot of you were told this was going to happen it is happening and it, even though there was a delay it's still happening you're still building a future with this person and they are a keeper so keep hope alive keep faith alive and don't you know spiral back down to a, a dark hole where you're going to second guess everything and feel like you're not worthy or you're nervous about something next we have sexual healing sexual energy can be used to reconnect so some of you have been thinking about like should i get back with my ex should i get back with this person you know the sex was good the chemistry was off the charts but the relationship wasn't the best and it's kind of it's up to you to decide that if you want to be intimate with this person again or if you want to you know just keep that to yourself and wait till you are in a relationship with their person but I'm getting that there is some sexual tension here with you and somebody from the past. Like, they're, li they're literally craving you physically. Next, we have playfulness. Playtime is essential for relationships. Have a little fun recapturing romance with your partner. So some of you may already be in a relationship with someone and things have felt kind of dry you know so this could be the time where you two need some playfulness you need some sexual healing and that can get the things get the chemistry going again that can get your um, relationship back on one to a better start and really spice up the intimacy and the passion between you two that could be um something you've been wanting for a while because uh, maybe you know your partner works a lot you work a lot and there's like no time for each other but putting the time in for each other is really important here for those that are in a relationship next we have past life there may be a past life connection or unfinished business with this person so this can also be the reason why i was picking up the x energy so maybe there's a reason why some of you are kind of going 
leaning towards like getting back with an ex, getting back with someone you were once connected to because there is some unfinished business here. There might be some clarity that you need. There could also just be, you know, a lesson that still needs to be um, fulfilled. And once it is done, then you two can fully go your separate ways and there's like no more drama. There's no more tension. Um, that cycle has closed. And also this could be related to the idea that some of you could be manifesting a past life soulmate and that is the person that you do end up getting engaged to and building this future with and that could be happening very soon so there's kind of like a mixture of energies with that one and the next we have missed chances have you considered all your options did you give it everything in the end we only regret the chances that we didn't take so once again this could be connected to an ex someone that you dealt with in the past or this could be um your ex thinking of you like you know what maybe i didn't give this all i should have gave it before and so they're ready to kind of recommit they're ready to talk about this and build a future with you maybe you know you were together and you talked about marriage and they weren't ready for that they got nervous so they kind of broke up with you or they ghosted themselves and now they're like you know what i do want to build a future with you i do want to be engaged and married to you let's talk about it let's you know rekindle the connection the our um reconcile and figure things out all right so now let's get some tarot cards and see what other messages we get the king of pentacles we have the sun and then we have the devil the devil is all about you know obsession right toxicity sometimes i'm getting with this card is saying that maybe in the past somebody was obsessed with something so it could have been like, I'm ready, I'm, a, I'm ready for commitment. I want commitment. I want marriage. I want all of this stuff. That could have been a huge obsession of yours or somebody else's. And the other person wasn't ready. And that kind of pushed them away. But now they have this moment of clarity where they see things, you know, it's like what's the song say, I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. They see what they want. They know that love is what they want. Children, a family, you know, a home, a, all of that marriage. And now they're ready to settle down with the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles, I considered it like the the best king because he is sturdy. He spends his time building his his life, building his finances, building his career, getting everything together, being, you know, solid, being grounded. That way when it comes to love, he is ready to give and he has enough to give and pour into someone else, right? And so I feel like this person, for those that are thinking of an ex or wanting to get with someone that is from their past, they are ready for a commitment. They're ready to build a future with you. And they're ready to build a future just in general. And I'm also getting, you know, for people that don't have anyone that they're thinking about getting back with in terms of a new connection, this is about you finally being able to break free from a cycle from a person that was toxic that may have been a, karm a karmic or you know just not a healthy partner and now you're able to manifest someone that is great that is loving that is kind that is you know stable um secure within themselves able to fully give back to the connection and you know what love looks like now because you're so used to seeing you know painful love and love that was not the greatest so now when you meet this person you know that this is someone that you're not going to let walk away you're not going to let fear get in the way of it you're going to manifest them and they're going to manifest you and everything is going to be okay that's what i'm getting there won't be any missed chances with this person is another thing that i'm channeling meaning this person when they see you, when they meet you, they're not going to like play the games. They're like, no, I know that you are my spouse. I'm going to commit to you. I'm going to do all the things to make sure that we are together. Okay. So that is what I have for this pile. So congratulations to the people that are getting engaged this year and getting married this year. And just in general, for the people that picked this pile, like you're getting engaged literally within the next two years. Um, I just feel it strongly with this pile. I feel it so much. Um, so definitely get ready for that. Be ready for that. Like you can't, 
you can't get ready for the person you're going to marry when you meet the person that you're going to marry if that makes sense you have to already be in that energy you have to already feel like they're there in your life even if you don't know them you can't just say like oh you know i'm going to work out and i'm going to do all these great things when i meet the person no do it now if you feel like you want to be in better shape or you want to get your finances together before you get married do it now work on it now that way you're already doing the work and you're attracting that person with ease instead of like pressuring yourself to fix it all and do it all when you meet them because that might actually delay it you know so getting things done now is important okay so i hope you all enjoyed this reading thank you so much for tuning in as always i appreciate the support and the best wishes to you all Alrighty, this will be for those that look at the glass door so let's see what general love updates messages we have for you at this time so we're going to start off with my oracle decks and then at the end i will get some tarot cards so let's get started we'll start off with my melanin and romance deck our first card is endings and beginnings we have gossip Ooh, we have Divine Masculine. We have Commitment. Beautiful. And then we have Reunion. So some of you that picked this pile, you might be coming into union with your twin. There might be a reunion between you two or your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Divine Counterpart, Soulmate, however you want to call them. But I see a reunion here with you and that person there is this energy where you know things may have ended you might have been in separation with them you may have broke up with them but now there's a beginning there's a reunion happening i get that they're ready for commitment they're ready to fully settle down and they don't want to play any more games they want the full commitment they want the marriage they want the, you know, the relationship, all of that jazz. With this gossip card here, I'm definitely getting the vibe to pay attention to any thoughts that keep recurring. Because um, sometimes your fear can get in the way of this and make you intimidated, make you scared, make you not want to, you know, get back with this person or work things out with them. And if you haven't met them, like ever, it can just make you feel like, you know what, don't even do it. It's no point of it. Like, kind of like talk you out of this reunion this commitment with this person don't let that get in the way i'm also getting that it's important to keep your relationship private as much as possible so i mean you can like even if you have really close friends best friends and stuff like that you can tell them that you're in a relationship but you don't have to give them all the information about it you don't have to tell them everything because sometimes people's intentions can get in the way of your connection it can cause things to happen that were never on the the plan to happen and it's just because of their negative thinking or their jealousy or envy or even sometimes people do have good intentions but like their fear and their doubt gets in the way and it kind of festers you know and can just have a huge influence on the relationship and the connection so make sure that you're protecting your connection at all times and if you have like the evil eye um like bracelet or necklace wear that every now and then i'm also getting you know watch what you post on social media so if you post pictures of your person don't do it all the time maybe make it private or like especially with instagram like you have um what do you call it like the little like friends only stories like you can select the people that you want to see your stories for that all right, now let's get into the Black Hollywood Romance Oracle deck. Um, we have Explore. Take a ride and explore new scenery or each other's inner thoughts. So this is a time where like if you two are getting back together, explore each other, learn each other again. Because every time you take a break from someone, there's usually something that's a little bit different about them. And you want to see if it's something that you're okay with that you're excited to explore and you know welcome into the connection but also for those that haven't met their person yet you're going to get to know them right you're going to get to know them explore you know what they like to do what makes them nervous what makes them scared what makes them happy like literally getting to know them is what i'm getting with that as well 
Next, we have emotional support. Now is the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings. So for those that are getting back with their twin, their, you know, soulmate, whomever, make sure you're checking in with each other and talking about like how you feel. What are you concerned about? What are things that you're excited about? Um, how can we make sure that we don't break up again? How can we make sure that when someone doesn't agree with what the other person is thinking or feeling, we communicate in a way that is healthy and that makes sure everybody's um, thoughts are addressed and appreciated, right? We have deeper intimacy. The feelings of emotional closeness and love allow you to feel safe, desired, and more connected to your partner. So some of you might actually become more intimate with one, one another. I'm getting like some of you going to go on a vacation, like a weekend getaway, and that kind of reconnects you all together on a physical level and also emotionally, which is really good. Um, I'm also getting that that's how it kind of leads to this reunion. Like you see each other and you kind of reminisce and then boom you're like you know in each other's like you're in somebody's bedroom and things just go from there and that moment lets you both know like you know what we should get back together we should make this work because we obviously still have something here that's worth fighting for Next, we have butterflies. Enjoy the overwhelming excitement and bliss of the new or old love. So this is kind of like with the people that haven't met their twin or their soulmate just yet. You're going to get butterflies. That could be a way that you know that it's them. Um, you get excited. You get kind of like this, I don't want to say nervousness um, energy, but more so like nervousness. But it's like you're you're interested in knowing where things are going to go if this person is like your soulmate it's just like this joy of like wanting exploring this connection and seeing where it goes next oh my gosh i said this earlier getting to know each other enjoy discovering new commonalities goals and dreams as you get to learn more about each other so a lot of you are going to need to like redate your person if you've already met them and already know them and those that don't know them you're going to get to know them so relearning each other understanding what areas of growth have occurred so you make sure that you're not treating them like the old version of themselves because that's one thing we typically hate is when we grow we evolve and then someone is treating us exactly like we were when we were um five years younger you know you want to be treated um, as an adult, you want to be treated as someone that has grown and has developed, right? So making sure that you're taking that into consideration. Next, we have control issues. By trying to control this situation, you'll only slow down your answer prayers. Let the divine take the lead. So this could be connected to the idea of like a lot of you want to reconnect with your person or meet your twin, meet your soulmate, and you're ready for it and you're trying to control it. And the universe is like, no, you can't control it. Like, let us take the lead. Let us, you know, let you all meet when you're meant to meet. And when it happens, it'll feel right. It'll feel good. It won't feel like pressured. It won't feel, you know, like, oh my gosh, I wasn't ready. Like they want to make sure you're ready. So kind of release any tension that you might have when it comes to timing of this. All right, now let's get some tarot cards to see what else we get. Right. Beautiful. I love that this is the first card that we get. Nine of Pentacles. But if you see here, her arms are open. She is embracing the energy of nature. She is just like free. And this goes with this control issues card. I'm feeling like just let go. Be free. Enjoy yourself and watch all of the blessings that come into your life. And this is just not limited to love. It's, lim it's not limited to love. It's, lim um, it's unlimited in terms of like money, love, um, good health, abundance just like movement within your life once you release control and release the desire to have your hand in every single thing that's happening beautiful things unfold look at that we have the magician so here's the thing set your intentions you know um figure out what it is that you want to manifest and let the universe do its job once you place your order you let the universe serve you right it makes me think of like the high priestess card in this deck um, but let the universe serve you. Like when you go to a restaurant and place your order, you don't say like, okay, I want this. And they give you your receipt and then you go back in the kitchen and then you literally cook it yourself. You don't do that. You let them make it right. You tell them what you want and then you get it. Let's get one more card. All 
I'm also channeling this energy like once you let go, you end your control issues, you end the need to, you know, stick your finger in the pot and try to cook everything and do everything yourself. You allow the beginning of love and all of the greatness to come into your life because you let go and you let it happen naturally. Next, we have the star. So this is letting you know, literally place your wish, give the universe your order and watch it manifest. Watch your wishes come true. They're going to come true. They're destined to happen. But you have to give the universe the space and the the faith that they're going to do this and they're going to fulfill your order, right? You can't pressure them and say, I want it. I want to meet my twin or I want to meet my soulmate tomorrow. And it's like, if your soulmate's not ready by then, and if you're not ready, no, you're not going to meet them by tomorrow. Because why would you want to meet them when none of you are ready, right? You want to meet each other when you're your in a place of healthiness when you are secure and it doesn't mean you have to be perfect no one is perfect but it's like you want to meet them where things are pretty good that way when you come together it's not as difficult you know but that is what i am getting for you all for your reading so I, it looks good a lot of you are re reuniting reunion reconnecting and reuniting with your twin um i'm getting throat chakra energies here for some reason so there could be a need for some of you needing to clear your throat chakra and also there there's this energy of like somebody is coming in to communicate with you they have cleared their throat chakra so now they're ready to talk to you okay so that is something i want you all to pay attention to and pay attention to also to like any visions or gut feelings that you get. There could be somebody around you that's trying to either interfere with your love life or wish something bad upon a connection. Pay attention to that. You can also just say a prayer for the next seven days to kind of just like protect your energy, protect your um, person's energy. And it will like wash away or get rid of any toxicity or other negative thoughts that might be like lingering. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for choosing this reading. Many blessings to you all. Best of luck with your connections.